Hey guys, so I am back again, and this time I've already trained up, and I'm going to go back and fight those trainers, but I'm going to wait until the very last moment before to switch out to Delta Ralts, which I didn't train at all with just because, well, um, the Delta Ralts evolves at level 20, and I didn't want to accidentally evolve it while training. So, we have the first guy right here. And it's going to be switch training, and as you can see, a lot of my Pokemon have gotten a lot stronger. So let's get into the first battle right now. Now, I really do love the Delta species. It's probably my favorite part of this game. And it, this is actually being recorded about two hours after the last time I recorded. The reason why it's two hours is because I needed to rest my voice, because I started to lose it really bad. So now I'm playing at night. Which is kind of going to be cool because different Pokemon come out at different times of the day. Day and night mechanic is always super cool in my opinion. Toxic Spike's great. So I'm not going to be able to switch train as much as I thought I would. Shadow Sneak. Oh, wonderful. This isn't going well. Great. Let's just hit this thing with a Confuse Ray. Shadow Sneak it again. I guess I do have to train up my Fuko. Wonderful. I think I'm going to send out Blitzel. Let's go out into you. Yes, great. I was poisoned. Fight. Shockwave. Darn it. Don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch. There we go. Took it down and now I'm about to run back to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I do hate status conditions so much. No. Oh, yeah, it's gonna die to the poison. Okay. Um... Send out Skunk Tank. Figured you'd absorb it. But you don't have a strong enough move. Holy smokes. Let me keep stockpiling great. We're gonna eventually get through this. That was a critical hit. Nice hit. No! Alrighty. Well, at least it was caught up in the aftermath. So, let's send out Kabu. Who is level 29. My Heatmore is my strongest Pokemon right now. Fight. Fire Spin. I may actually go downstairs and train with the Ralts. Get it to evolve up into Curlia and then go back out. I don't know. Just depends. Because I know I can't get poisoned and stuff like this, and it's super duper annoying to do that. You know what? That's what I'm going to do because I really, 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 really want to avoid status conditions as much as I can. And then we can fight the gym. So I'm going to do a little bit of quick, quick training with it using the um, trainer Pokemon thing because then it's the quickest way. And if you notice, I don't have the Delta Species Grimer anymore because I decided, you know what, probably best for me to replace that with the Ralts because I really do like the Ralts. And that's, this is a bookshelf you have to go behind. Yes, I know you're anxious. So let's go here, go up here, go to this guy. Yes, your Audino are amazing. Oh, your Audino are amazing. 20. And you guys get to see the Delta Species Ralts for a little bit. Let's do this! Doesn't know many very good moves yet. It will learn them quickly. Sixteen. Seventeen. Yes. 
Nuzzle XD, da -dee -da -dee -da -dee. For those of you who come from Mystic Stream, you guys know I actually do have a command, which is a Nuzzle command. So, yeah, that's actually really funny to me. And I'm going to train Ralts up to level 25 then and talk to you guys as I do it. Because I know this is kind of a boring part because it they auto-kill each other until the last one. Which, it's okay by me that they do that. No target. At least this is going pretty fast. Maybe I should also train up Blitzel. One, one or two more levels. Yeah, this one can't kill itself. But, um, I mean, I have a lot of fun recording these. Sometimes I feel totally awkward because I have no idea what you guys would want me to talk about. So I just try to talk about everything. Um, and they are a ton of fun. Because it's just something different for me. Like, I do so much TCG stuff that I feel like if I continue do, continuously do TCG, then I'm kind of going to get stale and I'm going to get bored of it. And I don't want that to happen, so that's why I do stuff like this. And I do have a theory video coming out probably next week sometime, so I'm super excited about that. As soon as I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to restart Fake Mom World, because I did episode 1, and I really enjoyed it, and I really do like the concept of it, but I don't want to do it when I don't have enough subscribers to really feel like properly support the series if you understand what I mean because I want this to actually be super successful but at the same time I don't want to feel like oh shit I chose the wrong level um I chose level 10 so I'm just gonna have to do it again one more time because at least I feel like I could kill these super easily oops at least it's still fainted. Um, but I really want to do it to where I have a larger audience and I feel like I don't have to worry about it not paying back in a way because that's not very cheap to get the stuff drawn out and get everything else done because that's what I have to do every time I do one of those. And I really do like the work that Dark and Windy does. He's absolutely amazing. Definitely check him out. Um, definitely, I'm going to leave a description in the description down below, a link to the first of the Fake Mom World, because I'd really like to hear your ideas. I saw somebody comment uh, that came over from another channel on my mythological uh, creatures that should be turned into Pokemon video, and that's what I played off of, so I really, really do enjoy doing that. I think that was a super fun series to do. Now we're going to have to do Audino one more time with Ralts at level 20. And then we will go and try... Oh, here we go. Ralts is evolving. Now we're going to have Delta Curlia. Yay, Delta Curlia. So pretty. Woot. We're gonna do one more and then I'm gonna let it do it with Charmeleon and then we will go and try and face the gym maybe. I don't know. I don't know this episode. I'm just having fun right now because I really want to train up these Pokemon. I want to make them better. I'm hoping I don't get freeze hacks, which I didn't thank God. Because that would have been super duper annoying. Whoop. Oh, so close to level 21. Curlia is going to be level 21 soon. Healing Wish. Yay, it's level 21 now. So it'll go up to level 22, and then I'll switch out to Blitzel to finish it off. And then we're going to switch um, positions where... My Charmeleon's up front, and then we will go and start fighting the gym. We'll see how far I get, because this gym is kind of confusing, if I remember correctly. This is like the bug-type gym, but it's like a super complicated path to go on. 
And pretty soon in this game, I will... Oh, wait, I switched in the wrong one. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Whoops. It happens. Oh, it flinched. Um, after all this, I will be able to, like, really start getting into the game and start catching more, I think. You're not going to go for the healing wish and win, trust me. And Autono is down. Curly is now level 22. Curly is trying to learn Shockwave. Should it, yep. We will delete a move for Shockwave. Um, probably tomorrow, which will be Thursday, I will record at least two or three episodes of Fact, the Fact video, my red playthrough with facts. Just because I want to get ahead in my recordings right now. Not that I'm going out of town or anything. I just want to be slightly ahead because I feel like I need the videos already done and just uploaded. So I don't have this idea of, oh, well, I can kind of be lazy and skip doing that. Because I have got to get better at being consistent sometimes. Because I feel like I let people down if I'm not. And I don't want that feeling anymore, so I'm gonna have like three weeks, I'm gonna have a month recorded out on everything. So, yeah. I'm super excited about doing it that way, so I have a better schedule, and I know what I'm doing a lot better. To where I don't have to rush to- Oh yes. Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Let's forget Growl. Um, so I don't have that excuse anymore of not having it, not feeling like recording, just- I'll record everything in, in advance now. So I have that at least done. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. A lot more than I thought it would. And as the more I get consistent, the better off I feel like I'm going to be with my channel. And I hope you guys do enjoy what I do on here. I hope you guys continue to come back and check me out. Because there is a lot of different TCG Let's Play channels anything and i think i want to make myself different i want my want to make myself unique and i think i have accomplished that in several right ways but i'm not sure if i've done it enough and probably i'm going to see what oh it's so close i'm gonna do it again sorry guys because i want it i want to get it up to like level 29 i think that'd be nice to have two pokemon on level 29 Sorry, I'm, I took a drink and I was hitting keys at the same time. So that's why I canceled it out instead of going into level 20. So let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, this game has the Zebstrika stone, um, which makes me super duper happy because I love Zebstrika. And I know I'm going to have to heal because I don't want moves to be low on PP. So yeah, before we go into the gym... No. This is probably going to bump me up to level 30, maybe. I'm hoping. Super duper hoping. So close, so close. We're going to get to level 30, I think. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Let's hope. Dragon breath. And it's paralyzed. Very nice. Healing wish. But fail because there's nobody behind you. Which I kind of like this. I kind of wish we had something like this in the actual series Pokemon games. But I don't think it'll ever give us something like that. So we're just going to have to settle with this for right now. Which is totally fine. Hold on guys. My cat's having a freak out again. Sorry about that guys. My cat was sitting out back and something scared her. So she came charging at the door and digging at it. And I don't like to leave her out like that. Um, because sometimes she can get destructive, she's a cat, so kind of in her nature to do that. So, uh, yeah. But getting back to it, let's go see if we can get to this gym. Now, Fuko is going to be my highest level Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Do, do, do. I think I remember correctly... Which way is the gym? Hmm. It's not over here. That's a trash dump. It may be at the top of town. No. Let's figure it out. Hold on. There it is. 
Yes, I am. That's not gonna be ominous at all. Now this gym is kind of different because like you have to find your way through the pass, but you're crawling through trees. So yeah. See if I can find my way, probably. I don't mind fighting trainers in a gym and there's also a lot of grass. Let's do this. Let's get it on. Let's get some of this gym out of the way. I'll stop when I feel like it's enough. So let's see. Well, I hope this knocks it out. <laughs> Cause I don't really don't feel like facing something with tail glow up. Gosh dang it. Flipper. I think I need to move Kabu out front because he'll deal with them better. Thank you for paralyzing it. Um, I hate healing moves like Moonlight. They're so annoying. You know what? Screw it. I am switching out to Kabu. Kabu, come out and do your stuff. Yes, you are fully paralyzed. Incinerate. You just did that because you know you're gonna die. Dead. Perfect. So, yeah, um... I do really like this game for all of its mechanics, and I'm very happy with how they made the game. It is definitely a lot of fun to play. Um, and it's very different from a lot of the other ROM hacks I've played or seen people play, just because of its intensity in some ways. Like, some aspects of it is, makes it a very intense storyline. Like, kind of heartbreaking in some ways depending on how you look at it. So, I do really like this game. Zulon's fainted, Kabu leveled up to 30. Yes. I'm gonna send in Blitzkrieg. Even though it's level 26, I think if I hit a super effective... Now if I'm able to hit it twice, flame charge. No. Great. My gosh, it gets a lot of boost for that. So that's not even that effective. So let's switch back into Kabu the Heat More. Heat More for the clutch. Light screen. Great. Psychic Beam. Incinerate. I did that on purpose because I want something to hit it while I'm healing. Let's go to bag. Let's go to super potion. Let's go to Kabu. Psybeam. Hurt. Fire spin. Let's kill it. Well then. I mean, I dragged out a Pokemon that also had a fire type attack, so that was really good, Dust Ox. Congratulations. You really ended up helping me out in the end. So, the bug catcher was defeated. Now see. Go in this hole. Let's see, where am I? Oh, I found the gym leader. That was really quick. Great. Oops. Oh, well. I'll start off with Fuka, and if it faints, I'll lead into Kabu. Otherwise, it'll take me like two or three times to refine the gym leader. 
and I feel like that's not a good strategy. Oh, great. It's a Shuckle, my least favorite Pokemon to fight. Ugh. I hate this Pokemon. Such a pain to fight because it's just so bulky. I'm still gonna outspeed it. And it has Sticky Web. Great! Great, great, great. Curse. Yes, whatever. I'm hoping, like, for Perilous. Paralyze hack or something. Super slow, okay. I'm hoping to, like, really lower it down to where maybe Blitzel could take it out pretty easily with, like, a charge or something. Or even Fuko take it out before Fuko faints. So, I don't know. Oh, Paralyze Hack at the very end. Still uses Curse. I don't know why it's using Curse when it's about to die. AI is not very smart in this game. Oh, he used a Super Potion, that's why. Let's try this again. It failed. Let's try this. Let's switch back and forth right now. I'm hoping to do as much damage as possible. You know, I'm just gonna send out Kabu. Kabu will take this thing out. Kabu the heat more. Well, I know my speed fell. Let's incinerate it. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Jesus and Lord Almighty. Yeah, I probably am going to lose to the gym leader. I'll probably end it afterwards because I'm definitely going to have to train after this. And I'm going to be doing that super training. Yeah, why are you just sticky webbing? It's not going to really help you. Well, at least it was paralyzed. And I don't have a revive or anything else. Well, this sucks. Really does suck, but oh well. It's fun still. I just hate fighting Shuckle. It's like the most annoying Pokemon to me to fight in any way just because it is so super bulky and with four up it's like killing me right now because I really can't do much to it. And I really wish I could, but I can't. So I'm gonna have to definitely train up a ton Oh, that was super effective, and it wasn't even that much damage. And it's gonna miss. Great. I'm dead. Oh! Double peril! Let's try this one more time. Thank you. Oh, so close. Booyah! I knocked one out. <sighs> that was harder than I thought. Yes. Let's forget tackle. No. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to tra trade everybody up. I'm about to get sweep, but oh well, this was fun. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode, even if I'm going to get my butt handed to me right now. And... Definitely next time I will have Pokemon that are higher level than this to fight this person. Because I don't even remember what the gym leader's name is. I'm glad your counter failed because I poisoned you. That was like the perfect moment to do poison. Maybe I won't entirely fail completely. Or not. Never mind. Funny thought. JK. I only have the Curlia left. So 
So I will be doing some major training up off camera. I hope you guys liked this episode you enjoyed, even though I got defeated again by a gym leader. But it was still a lot of fun to record. I am going now off to grind. See you guys later. Bye.